Is brain rot content actually making us dumber? In 2000, The Atlantic ran a cover story called, Is Google Making Us Stupid? And they basically claimed, yes. My point here is that most of us today wouldn't claim that Google is making us stupid, but it's easy when a technology is new to be very afraid of it. And so let's just lay out what we know about short form brain rot content and what we don't know. There is no data that proves that if you start watching a bunch of skibbity toilet videos, you will become dumber. That data isn't there. People that watch a lot of short form video content have ADHD like symptoms. They usually have trouble with executive control, mood regulation and focus. We don't know whether those problems, those ADHD like symptoms are caused by that scrolling behavior or they're caused by the anxiety that caused people to get into it in the first place because Anxiety itself is associated with these ADHD like symptoms. But what we do know is it's very addicting. There is a real effect of going down this rabbit hole of seeking ever more effortless content. That is we desensitize our brains and we become more easily bored. So we need to think about low effort, high dopamine content, like the world's most available drug, right? This is free. You can get it from your phone. It's in your pocket and at any moment you can get a hit of dopamine. This is the, the McDonald's hamburger and DoorDash is the social media companies that are serving it up. It's not dumb people that are eating McDonald's hamburgers. It is stressed out, exhausted people that just want the low effort option for how to feel good, right? And that is perpetuated by the people making this content. So I think there's some accountability there. It's perpetuated by um, the platforms that are profiting off of that content. And I think there's accountability there. And I also think it's really up to us to realize like, wow, yeah, that's, that's the thing that feels good, but long-term it will change your brain in ways that are harmful.